One of broadcast radio's popular formats is talk radio. This format presents discussions about topical issues and features conversations between multiple hosts, interviews with guests, and listener participation via call-ins, emails, or voicemails. Variations of the talk radio format include conservative talk, hot talk with so-called shock jocks like Howard Stern, liberal or progressive talk, and sports talk. While this format has historically been associated with broadcast radio, internet streaming technology has provided a huge platform for podcasts, which often follow the talk radio format. In this session, we're going to talk about the most prominent and prevalent programming format in radio, music. As you learned in the first session, there are many different genres of music featured on radio stations, including pop, rock, urban, Spanish, jazz, classical, and many others, each of which has a target audience. In this session, you will learn how music is programmed on the radio toward that desired crowd. Being an announcer is a privilege, not a right. So when you accept an airshift, you are committing to represent the integrity of the format. As an announcer on a music formatted radio station, you are required to follow fundamental rules in place to provide mass appeal to a large, diverse listening audience. The purpose of any format, music or talk, is to win a desirable segment of the radio audience. Music is sound. Because it is sound, the overall image of any music station needs to project a sound that is consistent and representative of the musical promises you make to the audience through its positioning statements, imaging, and self-marketing efforts. A radio station will always suffer more from the songs they play rather than the songs they don't, which is why programming criteria standards, having a critical ear, and knowing your audience is so important. A radio station should deliver what is expected of them by the listener. Listeners want to hear familiar hits. The more unproven or unfamiliar songs you play, the greater your chances of playing stiffs that bore listeners and drive them away. An announcer's personal opinions and tastes do not have a place in a properly programmed music format. You are not allowed to bring in your own CDs or music. A radio station is licensed to serve the community not the staff or artists. Remember, the bottom line, it's all about the listeners.